Ethereum, your life force is running out. Yes, is Ethereum about to die? We're going to be talking about that and more in today's episode. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, still live here in Dubai. I uh, hope you're doing well. I hope everybody is enjoying their week so far. This March has turned out to be a little bit sad as, as Bitcoin has dumped. And same as there. And we're going to get to that and the charts after the news, right? My news rant. And we're going to talk about what's going on with Ethereum. Is there a killer uh, app that's out there? We'll talk about that. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. Watch the whole thing because it's going to be an interesting one for you indeed also if you want to trade on uh, on any exchange i would suggest you head over to okx.davincij15.com or bybit.davincij15.com links are in the description below all right so let's get to the news right but before we do i want to ask you guys remember the reference at the very beginning of the video i said uh ethereum your life force is running out well Tell me in the comment section, what reference was I referring to? What uh, genre of, uh, let's say, I'll give you a hint. It was a video game. Let's see if you can figure out which one I was uh, referring to in that one. Okay, so let's head over to the news. Most blockchain advocates have, haven't have even used Bitcoin. Jesus Christ. Really? So, uh who is supporting bitcoin and hasn't uh, actually used it i don't get it like um if you're going to support bitcoin why are you talking why are you saying hey uh yeah, yeah buy bitcoin but uh, i'm not using it let's see bitcoin has popularized the the term blockchain while blockchains or decentralized uh, distributed uh, digital ledgers used to record transactions across the network of computers have been around for over 30 years. Bitcoin is the household name for blockchain. Yes, blockchain has existed for a long time. Basically, it, all it is is basically taking a uh, evaluation of everything that was happened before in a block, doing calculation that must equal each chain of blocks, right? So if one block gets removed and changed in any way, you'll know the whole thing becomes invalid. So that's why. Um, that's how blockchain technology works, right? So that you can't change something in the past without recalculating everything that has happened. That's despite the fact that the Genesis block was mined well over 14 years ago when George W. Bush was president of the United States. And I got a feeling by the, uh, the black eyed peas uh, topped the charts, Bitcoin, however, is still top of the blocks, yes. Here's an example of while in uh, emerging at the, the European blockchain convention in February, I asked uh, roughly 250 uh, blockchain believers uh, sitting in front of the audience to show a show of hands who uses Bitcoin and maybe 20 hands in the audience shot up. OK, keep your hands, uh, keep your hand up. And, and if you use the lightning network, I said, and the, oh boy. So. Basically, anybody who's like into the blockchain, these people are like, yeah, yeah, I like blockchain, but not Bitcoin. Okay, yeah, well, blockchain is not anything special, right? All you're doing, if you are considering saying, talking about blockchain and going, oh, yeah, blockchain, 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 you're not talking about, you know, decentralized system. If your paper is only saying blockchain, 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 Replace the word blockchain and put in database, and there you have it. <laughs> That's what you've got. <laughs> and so you're not secure, right? You're not decentralized, right? Uh, you are a complete centralized system that can, the history can be rewritten. Because although, right, the blocks, right, you can't, rep if you make any changes to past blocks, you can rewrite the whole block, all the blocks. It will take some time, but not as much time as, for example, uh, if you were to try to rewrite the Bitcoin blockchain, which will require a massive amount of computing power on top of that. And that's why mining is so important for Bitcoin. We're going to talk more about that um, because there is a, 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 a topic here later on. Okay, Bitcoin price prediction split as MT Gox bankruptcy repayment nears. Okay, okay. How do you know that this is false? 
Oh, oh, that's the independent. <laughs> Mainstream media. Oh, I see. This is some made up nonsense because how often has this bankruptcy repayment thing always been the scare of what's causing the price movement since the bankruptcy occurred? Right? They've always had brought this out, this boogeyman out. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, it's a bankruptcy prepayment of empty gawks. I mean, come on, let it go, man, let it go, all right? These people are not getting their money. If they haven't gotten it by now, they ain't getting it now, all right? So let's let it go. Ethereum moved to proof of stake. Why can't Bitcoin? Okay, this this guy, you know, is, uh, I don't know, MIT Technology Review. Oh, my God, you know, honestly, I don't think this particular website is in the pockets of the mainstream media when you have educated people in a way of thinking that yeah yeah global warming is real you know it, it, you, you get more people who are towing the line of the bankers who buy property on the beach because they well yeah yeah they put together this nonsense of global warming which, you know, will raise the sea levels and wipe out all the, the beachfront property. So that's why they're buying beachfront property. Like, you guys have no critical thinking, yet you went to university. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Last year, Ethereum went green, right? See, the second most popular crypto uh, platform transitioned from proof of stake and an energy-efficient framework for adding new blocks of transactions nfts and other information to the blockchain when ethereum completed the upgrade known as the merge in september it reduced its energy consumption by 99 percent meanwhile bitcoin continued to chug along consuming as much energy as the entire country of the philippines <laughs> okay okay uh, come here Right. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me talk to you. Right. Um, the reason why Bitcoin right, has proof of work is to ensure the history can't be rewritten. Now, Ethereum, whether it uses proof of stake or proof of work, its history can be rewritten. We've proven that before when the Dow failed. Right. They were able to rewrite history in an instant. Well, you can't do that with Bitcoin. Okay, that's why they changed the proof of stake. Okay, so now that you know why, don't don't, don't stop the nonsense about oh power. We, you know what we use energy to survive to make things happen. Okay, you use energy for video games. You use energy for your current banking system. You use energy to survive. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be now, and that's how it's going to be in the future. Stop your nonsense. Okay. All right. So, moving on. Do Ethereum killers have a future? Here's what the crypto community says. Well, if you scroll down here, right, I have to agree with the community. And they said, as a member of the cryptocurrency forum, Reddit opened a conversation with Ethereum killers and questioned their ability to succeed in the current crypto space. According to the community members, those dubbed as Ethereum killers are unlikely to succeed because they do not get the same adoption that Ethereum does. In addition, the community members argued that even as the chain becomes faster than Ethereum, the market capitalization of ETH ETH is very high. Therefore, crypto users believe that no ETH killer will actually kill ETH. So that's a, that's a situation, right? You can you could say Aptos, uh, ADA, or whatever you want. It's going to come and kill Ethereum, but that's unlikely. I'm not saying they're going to die off and and never be useful. Those chains it's just they will never be able to surpass Ethereum going forward. And as Ethereum becomes more and more used and and more and more um, cheaper. In the future, it becomes less and less likely that those other chains will be used. So uh, this is where there is no Ethereum killer. Sorry, right? That was a little bit of a 
clickbait, but that's just the way it is, right? There is going to be no Ethereum killer. No one is going to take the throne Ethereum anytime soon or ever. Okay, let's head over to the charts, right? Uh, where you're going to see some serious red. Bitcoin and the whole crypto market was in for a uh, dump. Everything looked very um, dumpy. It was a little bit on the lower side and uh, there he is. Uh, I didn't uh, get a chance to really trade it during the day. Um, there would have been some, uh, there was like a lot of evidence. I was saying, hey, this is looking more like a head and shoulders pattern, All right? And there we go. We broke down, broke through the, um, the 200 period moving average, right? Which showed that, hey, you know what? Oh, oof, this is really looking bad. We can't break above this. Uh, resistance and boom down we went blam on the four hours going to the hourlies you can see it a little bit better the um the, the head and shoulders pattern or you can see this everything was emming out um, but the head and shoulders pattern was the best um, you can see this is probably the best thing to see the head and shoulders right you got one shoulder head and another shoulder here so that was that Bitcoin failed heavily now we have um i'm going to change the colors of some of these so that we've cut through a lot of support here um this is not good we cut through that support so now it becomes re resistant we cut through um this we didn't we didn't break in with a candle body but it is still so it's still support um should we fail and break and have a candle body below that that would be disastrous and um, we have to hold the next level of course so um let's see as bitcoin trades probably going to break through because um, we're still early on this um this downward movement you can see that the 13 ema whoops yeah let me just zoom in a little bit we've crossed the 13 ema on this big dump that's most likely means that we're going to consolidate and then break down even further on this chart here uh, yes there is a possibility that bitcoin does an a reversal because it's it's brutal lately it's there's a lot of um volatility so please be careful the odds of uh, a reversal are still up there let's look at uh, ethereum so ethereum has done the same thing we're going to replace all these green ones to um red so now they're uh, resistance we've cut through several support level layers and unfortunately uh, ethereum is down bouncing off the last support level um most likely, if we're going to do the same thing as, uh, as um, Bitcoin consolidate and fail even further, we can't see a green uh, a four, one hour candle, well, actually a four hour candle. We can't see a four hour candle below this uh, green support. If we do, um, things are going to break down faster and we have very little support uh, going forward. forward. Um, if we break down through this support level, probably it's not going to be a a pretty sight here you can see that the 1512 is or 1506 is pretty nasty um, uh, we're gonna uh, if we break through that uh, we have to hold the 1462 which is unlikely at that point so um, there we are uh, we can we can we've got to hold above this this 1555 and stay above that if we're going to continue higher to the $2,000 level within this month, we are still going to do that. It just it might be extended out to another month or two. Okay. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Make sure that you own your crypto. You take possession of it because you never know when uh, a change exchange is going to turn into an empty gox or FTX in the future. It's just the way it is, right? There are honeypots. Many mean that means that uh, hackers are constantly trying to take, uh, uh, rob those exchanges, and you don't want to um, to to lose your crypto because there is no insurance if they get wiped out and uh, somebody robs the majority of your cryptos on the exchange. So be careful out there. No more than. You know, if you if you're just started, that's fine. You can leave it on the exchange. But um, if you're if you're a veteran, you should start learning how to hold your crypto directly um, and uh, start taking percentage off of the exchange and leave only five percent of your total net worth on any one particular exchange. 
and you will survive any kind of like disaster. If one exchange goes down, the maximum you lose is 5%, which is what you want. All right. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys on Monday. Cheers.